and welcome to a new episode of Rolling with Emma. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about a simple way to attract happiness into your daily lives by applying a very simple exercise. Every day, billions of people all around the world are trying to pursue happiness. But what if you didn't really need to pursue it? What if I told you that with just a few adjustments to your idea of what happiness really is, and by applying a simple exercise on a daily basis, happiness is really easy to achieve. You know, we're always looking for happiness outside of ourselves. We believe that we'll be happier with a better career when we have more money, you know, and with a better relationship, a nicer car, more success, being loved by others by becoming famous. But the truth is, happiness achieved by materialistic means or long wanted achieve goals will always be temporary. Today, I want to share with you a very simple, scientifically proven way to increase your happiness level almost instantly without you having to work your butt off to achieve your goals, to make more money, to please everyone around you so you would receive love from them, or even without taking any kinds of damaging substances. And that exercise is called being grateful. Gratitude is an easy exercise that only takes up a few minutes of your day and can create a lasting happiness. And when you're happy, every aspect of your life is enhanced because you always attract what you send out. It is also proven that happiness increases your performances, your abundance, your career, your physical health. So let's start attracting happiness within ourselves today. Okay, so how do we practice gratitude? It is something that needs to become part of your morning ritual, part of your morning routine. Every morning when you wake up, you can either stay down and lay down on the bed or you can sit up on your bed, relax and close your eyes. Then I want you to take a few deep breaths in and out. Put your full focus on your breathing, on becoming in the now, being fully aware of this moment as you're breathing in and out. And then I want you to think and sum up all of the things that you are grateful for in your personal life. And you don't have to overthink it. This does not need to be complicated. You know, you could be grateful just for your family, your friends, your partner, your children. You could be grateful that you just woke up in a nice warm bed. You can be grateful that you have a home that keeps you warm, dry, and safe. Just the fact that you can have a great cup of coffee in the morning with your breakfast is a great way to be grateful. The way your children smile at you when they see you, when you go out and greet them. You can be grateful just for a warm embrace you had yesterday with a good friend or the great talk you had with a colleague the other day. Or just be grateful that the sun is shining today. There is so much to be grateful for. So look around and see the beauty. See the magic in the smallest things and find the gratitude that you can experience that beauty, that magic every day. You know, in the words of Albert Einstein, he said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. 
So choose to see the miracle you have chosen to experience in this lifetime. Now, the last part of the exercise, and a very, very important part of the exercise to lock it all in, is being grateful for you, being grateful for yourself, for your own being. So in a way, expressing self-love. See, a lot of people don't ever seem to have any problems with being grateful for their family or their friends, but a lot of you lack a certain amount of self-love and self-respect. So think about the things that you can be grateful for for yourself. Think about the things that you love about yourself. You know, it could be that you have an amazing heart. You have great compassion. It could be that you love your children very, very much, that you are an animal lover, that you love nature and respect it. It could be that you're a very driven person, you know, that you really thrive when you're going after your goals. It could be that you're a person who um, likes to fight for justice and equality and truth, you know. We're all beautiful in every way. We just need to help ourselves and remind ourselves just how perfect we really are. So find a way to be grateful for yourself, whether that is that you're a person who likes to help others and guide others, whether that is that you're a reliable person that everyone can count on, whether that is just that you have a great smile and that that smile affects other people in a great way. No matter what it is, there is always something to be grateful for, for being you. Self-love is one of the highest energetic vibrational frequencies and will only help you to attract more love and more abundance into your life. So find gratitude for your personal life and find gratitude for yourself and see just how awesome you really are. And that's it. That is the exercise. See, a lot of us think that in order to achieve great results and great changes and everlasting happiness in our lives, we really need to work super hard to get it. We need to struggle to find it. We need to suffer. And I'm here to tell you to please let go of that lie, okay? And know that we did not choose to come down here to suffer and struggle, but we came down here to experience, to grow, and to have fun while doing it. That is what we chose. Happiness is one of the most powerful emotions that we can experience as human beings. It is so powerful that it can literally change people's realities around them. Now, if you're still not convinced on making this very simple exercise a part of your morning ritual, here are a few more scientifically proven results of what happens when people find a day-to-day -day state of happiness. We become more passionate. We become more truthful and forgiving and compassionate. We sleep better. We literally improve our physical health even to a point where we can eliminate the illnesses that we are undergoing at this moment. We also experience an increase in our emotional intelligence. And there's so much, so much more that happiness can bring for us. So please take five minutes of your morning and rediscover your true state of being. Rediscover happiness. Much blessings and love to you all. Bye guys.